Hi there, it's Dawn, Gracie Dawn's Vintage Do. Someone's asked me to do a tutorial on how I achieve my hair style. Um, there's three main ingredients, or four, hair, obviously. Um, pins, so hair grips. Mine are blonde to match the, my colour of my hair. Um, hairspray, any firm hold, and dry shampoo. So the dry shampoo, it comes in lots of different flavours. Um, obviously I've got, I've got three different here, I use lots of it. Um, and, but the most important thing is, is dirty hair. Okay, so it needs to be about three days. Mine takes about three days to, to get ready for this. Because if you have really fine hair um, and it's too soft and silky, then it won't stay up in the hairstyle. So the next thing you need to do is to section your hair. Now, I normally have two big rolls. I've had three before. You can do as many as you like, but I just find it for, for speed. Um, and oh, you'll notice that my makeup's already on. Before I do my hair, I always like to do my makeup first because it, then it builds the character. Um, if I do my hair, it doesn't look right if I haven't got makeup on. So I put the makeup on first. Um, I didn't show you that stage though, but anyway, that's already done. So I start with two sections. I've already got a cow slick in the middle of my hair, which really, really helps me. Um, bane of my life before, but you can see it's a natural cow slick there. So what I do is I just section two parts scoop up a piece. This normally takes me about 10 minutes to do. So I brush the rest of it and my hair naturally flicks up at the end, which is quite lucky. Uh, my hair was a lot longer before, I had it cut because it just took me far too long to do before. So this is the secret stage. This is the most important part. Okay, don't comb your hair too much. Okay, so get the section you want. Okay, I'm never exact about this. The first thing you do is dry shampoo. Now don't spray too closely because it can end up staying white in your hair so you don't put hairspray on first because if you do dry shampoo then it stays white and it, it clings to it and you have white powder in your hair. So, <coughs> okay and what that does it just makes it gritty and then just start to. This looks like it's all going horribly wrong at this stage, but the most important thing is to back comb your hair all the way to the end. My hair's getting quite long now, and then make sure you pick up these pieces. Now this is the side I'll be having the flower in, so it's not so important to to back comb that too much. But for those of you who've got coloured hair or bleached hair, it's actually much easier this stage because if you've got fine hair, this bit takes ages fine uncoloured hair okay so you don't need to go too mad but you can see it's just thickened it up a little bit and if at this stage you need a little bit more do it from behind as well because if you do it from front it will actually stay powdery and white so just give it a little bit of oh, body again I'm no hairdresser I've been trained to do this I just copy people and watch YouTube videos like this and formed my own style Okay, so the next stage is, so it's feeling quite sort of lumpy now, okay. Now, this is the important part. If you were, I normally have to take this ring off because it gets in my way and it catches my hair. This is the key, okay. So, hand in there, roll it around and scoop all your hair in. Still with your hand in, just scoop your bits of hair up and around. Again, this is if you're going to achieve a high roll. You can do them at the side, obviously. And I sort of just try to scoop it so you can see that side. I've still got my hand in there. Can you see that? Okay. And then, with a pin, open it. And from the front, just pin couple in you'll see magically it starts to take shape just smoothing pieces and then you'll want to do some from the back again I know I sort of do this by I know you just know where to pin now take a bit of practice pin there and you'll see oh, that that 
is starting to take shape. Of course, you know, you've got the hairspray stage, so any little random pieces like that can just be pinned into shape. And you've got your first. Okay, the next stage is to spray, obviously to fix it all in into place. And you don't need to go mad, because if you're using extra firm hold, then you don't need to put tons of it on. And that little strange piece that was sticking out, in, so it's now pretty rock solid, don't forget the back. Okay, so um, that side is flat because of course I'm going to be putting a flower in it later. So just pick up an extra section here. Again, this technically, obviously these are called victory rolls, which um, allegedly were named after the shape that the aeroplanes after the war in victory, they were doing through the clouds, the, the circles. Um, some people say it forms the sweetheart shape, which was like the, you know, the, the wartime, um, you know, celebration. Um, but anyway, I don't quite know what, what the true one is, but uh, anyway, so victory rolls. So this, this side of hair is always much softer, I don't know why, um, there's obviously less less colour in it. So again, you get your dry shampoo. <laughs> Everything gets covered in white powder. So, as soon as you've done that on there, give that a really good... This comb, by the way, is a uh, sasu, apparently. Um, it's It's got really useful sort of pokey bit at the end. Again, I'm no hairdresser, I've no idea what that's called, but it's a really good comb for this. Don't try doing back combing with a brush because it just won't work. So you want to go to all the way to the end. And again, if you're doing something like a beehive or something, this is also the sort of back combing you'd do. This side ta always takes a little bit more effort. And again, make sure you get all the, all the soft pieces back combed in there. And then, again, the same stage, put your three fingers in, roll it around, and make sure you've got all the pieces tucked in. And still holding it in place, you just tuck it around, get a grip, get a grip, and then just slide it through your fingers. And that even holds with just one. So I'm now going to put lots more pins in. Okay, I've now put lots of pins in there. And what I like to do is I like them to meet up in the middle. Some people have them sort of going there with a straight bit of hair at the back, but there's loads of ways you can do it. But this has kind of become my signature look. And make sure you pin, ooh, pin lots from the back and you can hold the roll in your hand. But I like to make sure it's all pinned so it's actually joining at the back. Okay, and so once you've actually got that side done, a spray. Okay, so now you've sprayed it all. Okay, I just comb this. If you've got shoulder length hair, um, you can either curl it or like I do, just leave it and flick it out. Now I can see most of it's gone naturally quite good, but there's a section of hair that just seems to have gone straight for no apparent reason at all. So I'm just heating my um, curlers up and I'm just going to simply put it in there. So I've now just curled that piece up there. You can see it's flicking out nicely. Do the other side as well, just for the hell of it. Anyway, this is the point where you look. You want to look and check the back of your hair to make sure there are no pins visible and that everything's secure in. Okay, pleased with that. And then hair accessories. So you'll notice that side is rather flat. I could have done another victory roll there if I wasn't having any accessories. I do seem to have quite a lot of things. I've got lots of flowers. Um, I've got some lovely, I've got a bird. Um, when I wear my sailor's dress, I've got a little boat that I sometimes clip in the middle there. Um, or I've got a lovely, um, I'm not quite sure what flower that is called, but it's a lovely tropical flower. Anyway, for today, I'm wearing pink. So, because your hair's got hairspray in it, and if it is bits falling out like that it doesn't matter just give that an extra bit of a spray because it will give the flower clip something to hold on to as well so and then just clip that in there sometimes I have a couple in I think I'm just going to wear one today so if you're going to a revival whatever you're wearing 
Um, this is obviously a 40s hairstyle, but I wear 50s clothes. I have 40s hair, but it's just a it's a great it's a great look for anyone. Um, so have fun, and I look forward to seeing your your videos in in response. Okay, bye.